Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video. So it's not a full flight video today as you probably tell from the title. We are actually doing a tutorial. Uh, this is a tomato shade tutorial. So uh, that's quite a tongue twister. Tomato shade tutorial. There we go. Um, in this video I'm basically just going to be showing you how to use tomato shade in prepared uh, V4. Not V5. Uh, prepared in prepared V4. And how to get your reflections working. So, quick disclaimer uh, Smart Shade does not work with PTA or URD or anything like that. So, you can't have both of them at once. So, if you use PTA, you either use it or you don't. And if you use Smart Shade, you either use it or you don't. You can only use one. But yeah, this uh, might as well just give them the video and show you how to use Smart Shade. So, first of all, you want to come to the internet and choose a preset that is going to work for you. So, for example, I'm using the P3D preset by Inbuilds, and I'll leave all the links in the description below. So, in this preset, what you want to do is just press a download button like so. And there we go, that downloads. And then you want to come to your folders, and here we have the Inbuilds TS preset. You want to extract that, and then delete the RAW folder. And inside, here you have this little uh, configuration setting file and uh, that will be the file you want. So then what you want to do is, you want to go to Tomato Shade, so wherever you downloaded Tomato Shade, you want to go to the folder and run as administrator, like so, and here's your little screen if you will. Then you want to go to open, and then here we have, you go to where you have your preset, inbuilds preset, and then inbuilds here. So you want to press open on that, and then what it will do is it will load that preset. And then once once that's all done, that will be it. No, then you just press actions apply preset. Obviously, I already have this done, so I'm not going to be going, so I'm not going to do it myself. But yeah, that, that's it. You go do open and then the file that you downloaded and then apply preset, and then that'll be done. That's your preset loaded. Then come out of Tomato Shade, and then you're going to wonder, well, how do I get my uh, reflections on the on the aircraft? Um, if you don't do this, then what you're going to find is that when you're flying in night or even daytime, the plane looks like a tin can. It looks like a really tin can, it's quite silvery grey, it doesn't look all good. I mean, this is a little example from when I first installed it in the Lufthansa A321. Look at that photo, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's what it's going to look like at night, and that's not what you want. So I also use inbuilds for the reflection profile. Uh, you know, sometimes I think it's better to actually keep to the same, you know, uh, company, because it will really work and look the best. And you want to find the plane, obviously, that you want to create your reflection profile for. So in this case, doing the FS Labs A320. So you press download here. And then you will get your, uh, what's it called, your folder. So that is literally right here, FSLA320. Here we go. So then that's your profiles. Next thing you want to do is go to where you uh, tomato shade is. Go to your folder. Open Dynamic Reflection Maker. Click Yes. And then here we have uh, your well the Reflection Maker. It might look a bit complicated at first, but honestly it's not. So just go to FS Labs, type in FS Labs or FS and what any aircraft uh, you want to install. And then go to any kind of livery, but make sure it's the right engine variant. So for example, IAE or CFM. In this case, we're going to be using EasyJet's uh, GEZTY livery for the example today. And you're going to go to Actions, Import Profile, and then go to where you downloaded your Reflection Profile here. And then choose one of these. So then you want to click the CFM profile because we're in the CFM variant. Click open and that will be the job done. Then after that what you want to do is you want to press save in the top right like so and then actions enable reflections on environment materials and then actions enable on all materials. And that's it. That is how you get all of your reflections working. That's all you've got to do. There you go guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and Give it a like and subscribe. God, I've never said that before. Yeah, give it a like and subscribe if you want. And uh, to come back and see more videos, we've got loads more planned. I've got a ton more to film. And yeah, that will be it. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you need any other tutorials, let me know in the description below. You can join my Discord server as well, which is below. Uh, you can do flight requests on that. You can do everything there. Uh, my Instagram's below. Twitter's below. Anything you want to follow me on is in the description. So I will see you soon in another brand new video. Goodbye.